Turn to the provincial election now. PC leader Doug Ford continued his push to woo commuters in Durham region today as NDP leader Andrea Horvath focused on her housing plan. Liberal leader St Stephen Del Duca had more to say about education while Green Party leader Mike Schreiner wants to get more young people jobs in climate friendly industries. Matt Ingram has more from the election trail. It was phased out by 2003, but Stephen Del Duca wants to bring back grade 13. An optional grade 13 for our high school students to be able to recover and to catch up. Speaking in Kitchener, the Liberal leader points to the negative impact of the pandemic on students as justification and says it will be different than the so-called victory lap or informal fifth year many Ontario students already opt for. Structured so that they can get more mental health support, so that they can learn more about personal finances, so that they can learn more about civics and citizen engagement. Del Duca says he would keep it in place for at least four years. Grade 13 was eliminated while Liberal Premier Dalton McGuinty was in power, but getting rid of it was recommended by a royal commission created by an NDP government and a PC government began the process. I think it's interesting that the Liberals are now talking about fixing something that they broke in the first place. Before visiting a brewery in Burlington, NDP leader Andrea Horvath was critical of the Liberal record on education while promising to build one and a half million homes over the next 10 years at an earlier Burlington campaign stop with local candidate Andrew Drummond. For people to be able uh, to purchase uh, and to be able to rent affordably. Horvath says she will also create an agency called Housing Ontario to build 250,000 affordable homes over the next decade. We're going to hit our targets of 150,000 homes a year. PC leader Doug Ford has also promised to build 1.5 million homes over 10 years, saying today he will hit that target. With gas prices ballooning, he was asked why he didn't introduce a promised 5.7 cent per liter cut on the gas tax sooner than the July 1st start date. We're going to continue looking at driving the cost down. In London, Green Party leader Mike Schreiner outlined a plan to fund tuition and apprenticeships for 60,000 young people to get into emerging climate change friendly industries. For training and retraining in new climate economy jobs and guaranteeing all 60,000 a year of employment through apprenticeships. Recent polls suggest that the Tories are ahead by about 10 points over the Liberals and the NDP and the Green Party has about 4% support. Those numbers suggest that if the election were held today that Doug Ford would return to power with a slim majority. But of course the only poll that truly counts is the one on June 2nd, Election Day.